In this video we are going to find the equation of a polynomial given its zeros. We need to know that complex zeros of a relation occur in pairs of conjugates which means if a polynomial has real coefficients in 0 a plus bi then it has to have also as a 0 a minus bi. We use this property to find a fourth degree polynomial function f of x with real coefficients that has zeros negative 2, 2 and i. Since i is a zero, its conjugate minus i must also be a zero. That means this uh, polynomial function must have at least the following zeros c1 equals to negative 2, c2 equals to 2, c3 equals to i, and c4 equals to negative i. And the factorization of f of x will be f of x equals a, the leading coefficient, x minus c1, x minus c2, x minus c3, and x minus c4. We will now distribute to find the expression when we multiply all the parentheses. I'm going to distribute these two parentheses first. x plus 2 times x minus 2 distributes to x squared minus 4. And I will distribute these parentheses next. x minus i x plus i distributes to x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to distribute the two parentheses to get x to the fourth plus 1x squared minus 4x squared minus 4, which is x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 4. And I get f of x equals a times the parentheses. Our next step is to find a. Since f of 3 is equal to negative 150, that means that if we plug in x equals to 3 and y equals to negative 150, we will be able to solve for a. So we will get negative 150 equals a times 3 to the 4th minus 3, 3 squared minus 4. This is negative 150 equals a times 50. And if we divide by 50, a is equal to negative 3. We now go back and we substitute it in the equation. f of x equals negative 3 parenthesis x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 4. And we distribute to find our answer. The answer is f of x equals negative 3x to the fourth plus 9x squared plus 12.